JDRF is supporting amazing progress. I'm going to talk about the top advances over our last fiscal year that are driving us to better treatments and ultimately our end goal, a cure for type 1 diabetes. People with type 1 diabetes lose the ability to make insulin, obviously. These are cells called beta cells. And we're trying to help beta cells regenerate. One amazing series of advances this year has been coaxing cells in the pancreas, we call them alpha cells, to change teams, so to speak. And this is a way that we hope in the future we can help people with type 1 regenerate the ability to make insulin and regulate blood sugar more normally. This year we saw amazing research from Boston looking at stopping the immune response to implanted medical devices. One area of focus of ours is encapsulation. And this work could help make sure that encapsulation, that when we put those devices in, that they work for a long time. It also could be applicable to infusion sets. Could we make infusion sets last longer than three days? Or CGM devices, could we make them work for two weeks or even a month at a time? This is really exciting work that has broad applicability coming out of Boston. One of the studies I'm most excited about right now is called FRIDA. It's run by an amazing doctor, Annette Ziegler, in Bavaria, which is southern Germany. It's a prevention trial, and they're looking at the general population of children in this region. But in these kids, what they've been able to do is stop them from developing DKA, diabetic ketoacidosis, which can be life-threatening. This is an amazing result. It's not only important in prevention, but it's stopping this complication from happening. We're really excited that we're now launching a similar pilot study here in the United States. I've been working on the Artificial Pancreas Project at JDRF for over 10 years, and this year we hit a major milestone. The FDA approved the first system that automatically doses insulin. This has been a decade of work. We have a system that reduces A1C levels, reduces hypoglycemia, and makes life a little bit easier. We have a number of other systems in the pipeline which we are super excited about. This is because of people like you and an amazing research community from all over the world. Wow, we've made amazing progress in the 40 years since my brother and I were diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. This year was an incredible year for research progress, the best that I've seen in the 13 years that I've been at JDRF. We're going to have a hybrid closed loop on the market, and that's super exciting. That said, we haven't achieved our ultimate goal, which is a cure. But we're making incredible strides. And it's because of people like you, we're going to get there. You're all T1D champions, and I'm so proud to be part of the JDRF team. Thank you.